there's the video. Welcome creeps and creepettes to 15 minutes of MAME. This show kind of started off as a dare that I gave to myself, yes, I dared myself, uh, to watch every single horror movie on Netflix in the horror section. So anything that shows up in the horror section from beginning to end. So no matter what it is, if I haven't seen it, I'm watching it. I've been kind of jaded and I skip around through all of these different platforms. And I'm like, I can never find anything to watch. I love horror movies. I'm a horror writer. Uh, I write comics and, and prose. So horror is life for me. And I was just like, oh man, I've, I've got nothing to watch. And then I'm like, wait a minute, there's a ton of stuff out there. I just go, oh, that looks like garbage and I don't watch it. So that's the challenge. This is the first episode. So we're just going to dig right in. The first movie that I forced myself to watch uh, is called The Silence and it was made in 2019. Uh, the cast includes Stanley Tucci, who is one of my favorite actors. Absolutely love him. Uh, Kiernan Shipka and Miranda Otto, who are both in um, the Sabrina show on Netflix, who I, I love both of them very much. Uh, really good actor, uh, actresses. So I was like, oh, okay, the cast sounds good. The premise sounds stupid. And this is the premise. When the world is under attack from creatures who hunt their human prey by sound, a teenager who lost her hearing at 13 and her family seek safety in a remote refuge. However, they discover a cult who are eager to exploit her heightened senses. Okay. So I read that and I'm going, this is, you know, there are other movies that have done this that have done it more successfully um, by using some kind of a catch where people can't see like Bird Box or, you know different things that they use to like avoid monsters that include senses. And this is apparently based on a book, which I have not read. So I kind of went into this one blind other than the explanation. And I have to say, uh, I was not very impressed. Um, the creatures that they use, they're like these little bat like creatures and the CGI was just terrible. And I get it. Like, suspension of disbelief, but I'm not one of those people who really dig CGI, period. So I would rather people, you know, go old school and use like animatronics or puppetry or something like that. Something that looks more real, like, you know, how they did a lot of Jurassic Park. So um, I was kind of disappointed after seeing that they had such a high caliber of like actors and actresses in this movie and, and how it kind of fell short. The acting um, was good in the roles that they were given. I personally didn't think the story was that great. Um, and the whole cult thing really only comes in like toward the last third of the movie. And honestly, they could have done it without it. it. It didn't really add anything to the movie. And I'm not gonna give spoilers unless I say spoiler alert. So no spoilers, but giving you my opinion, um, I would give the silence, mm, let's say two out of five shrieks. It's not scary and it, it's lacking. So if you're really into, um, you know, good special effects and, you know, a good story, which you should be, I would say maybe skip this one. Our next one is called Dark Lights. Oh my God. This movie was so hard to get through. I thought I was going to lose my mind. So uh, this movie came out in 2019. It stars Jessica Madsen and Ed Brody. And here's our premise. I'm going to hold my phone up so I can read it a little better. A woman returns to her family home and discovers it to be inhabited by monsters. That is the full description. So if you look it up, that's all it tells you. So I'm going into this thinking, oh, it's going to be a really cool monster story. And I do, I do love uh, monster movies um, if they're done well. So uh, basically what happens is this woman is going through a divorce with her cheating husband and she takes her daughter to her family's old house. It's like out in the middle of nowhere. And all of a sudden these weird things start happening. She's seeing lights out in the field. Uh, things are like, she's hearing noises in the house. And the next thing you know, uh, she's getting arrested for shooting her husband and possibly either kidnapping and killing her daughter. Uh, long story short, there's this creature that lives in the house or, or underneath the house. That's never really explained. And it has like this big giant light 
instead of eyeballs. And the creature itself was actually really cool. I'm going to give him credit where credit is due. The monster was really, really great uh, for what it was. Obviously, it was a low-budget movie. Uh, the acting and the writing just super flat. It, the The premise could have done, they could have done something better. Um, but it just the acting, like you didn't really care what happened to any of the characters. And um, the dialogue was just kind of, it was kind of flat and boring. And it, it was not engaging. It took me a really long time to finish watching this movie. So if you are into cool monsters and you feel like you have an hour and a half to waste, then, you know, give it a look, but you're going to be bored probably through most of it. And the monster really doesn't make up for all that. So that one is going to get one out of five shrieks because that is just, that was the worst one out of the bunch that I am reviewing today. <laughs> so it only goes up from here. So that's good. Hey, Marty, do you think people should watch this movie? You forgot my opinion on the silence, uh, which should have stayed silent. <laughs> yes, I and, agree. And then this last one just sounds monstrously bad. Mm, it it truly was. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my opinion. I appreciate you. <laughs> Back to my uh, cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one up is actually, I feel like this one got a big release and I've heard about this one before, but I'd never gotten around to watching it. It's called The Girl with All the Gifts. Uh, came out in 2016. It stars uh, Gemma Adderton, Sienna Nuna, and Glenn Close, who that was a surprise. I didn't even look to see who was in it. I'm just like, okay, I have to watch it. That's kind of the fun of this challenge is that it doesn't matter who's in it. It doesn't matter what the premise is. I have to watch it. So um, this one, the premise is one of several children immune to a mutated fungal disease that has eradicated free will and turned the rest of humanity into cannibalistic zombies. A gifted young girl escapes the safety of a special school and helps guide mankind's survival. And this one is based on a story. Um, it was a, an award-winning story. I absolutely love this movie. I thought it was a really good take on zombies. I'm over zombies. I know a lot of people are obsessed with zombies. I'm over it. I don't even watch Walking Dead anymore. I'm not knocking it. Just not a big fan. So, oh. and my dog also apparently is over zombies. So there's that. Um, but this story took made a made it like brand new to me this is the best zombie movie that i've seen in a long time and i recently watched train to busan which a lot of people are obsessed with i thought it was good but this was better to me um glenn close of course is epically amazing in in this movie she's amazing in everything uh the lead is played by uh Gemma adderton she is just outstanding i like for being as young as she is i i thought she did an amazing job the the cinematography ever, across the board absolutely love this movie so i'm going to give the girl with all the gifts four out of five shrieks and it's only not getting the fifth shriek just because it's a zombie movie i'm gonna be honest so i say watch it even if you don't like zombies you're gonna enjoy it what do you think marty I like the premise. Wow, that sounded terrible. Um, I like the premise, <laughs> but uh, it's about fungus, and as you know, I am a fun guy. So there you go. It's perfect. It's perfect for you. <laughs> All right, and last but not least today, we have Sweetheart, which is another monster movie. I, I guess This was the week of monster movies. Uh, the cast, um, nobody I've heard of is in this cast, but the, the woman who played the lead, um, Kiersey Clemens, she plays Jen, was outstanding. For the first 20 or 30 minutes of the movie, it's just her. So she really had to carry it. And she did. So congrats to her. And it also starred uh, Emery Cohen. And the premise is a shipwreck survivor on an uninhabited island must fend off a malevolent force that surfaces each night. So if you like movies like, um, like The Creature from the Black Lagoon, you're going to dig this, okay? Um, she is, uh, wakes up, she's stranded on an island, uh, she was on a boat that crashed, and she washes the shore on this island. Uh, somebody else had washed up with her, but they were like dying, and they, well, they died. 
uh, right away in the first two minutes. So I'm really not spoiling anything for you. And then she, so she starts figuring out a way to survive. So she's looking all around the island for food. So it's almost like castaway-ish for the first 20 or 30 minutes, but it's actually entertaining. And cause she just did a really great job of captivating me. Uh, and as this goes on, she starts seeing weird things or hearing weird things. And ultimately what happens is there's this creature that's like the creature from the black lagoon, but like different looking, but definitely very similar. And, uh, once she figures this out, a few more people from the boat show up in a raft and they're all stranded there too. And they think she's crazy. And from there on, it just gets even better. So I don't want to really give too much away. Uh, sweetheart, 2019 it's on netflix as are all of these movies so uh this one i'm giving five out of five shrieks very enjoyable uh really cool story and i haven't seen a really good like castaway type movie where somebody's stranded and so i just i really really enjoyed it what do you think marty it sounds wait for it wait for it pretty sweet <laughs> All right, you guys, and that's all I have for today. Um, so today we reviewed The Silence, Dark Lights, The Girl with All the Gifts, and Sweetheart. They're all available on Netflix. So if they sound good, go check them out. Um, also, I want to thank Podcast Detroit for letting me do my thing here, talk about horror. Uh, so definitely t uh, check out podcastdetroit.com. They have tons of different podcasts for you to listen to. I'm on several of them. I, um, what can I say? I love podcasting. Until next time, keep it creepy, guys.